I am conscious that we've been talking for a while. You're one of the few people that can talk more than I can. And actually doing a few times that you've probably had me kind of belly laughing a little bit. Um, one thing that I think could be quite interesting, and it's more just how you came about. How did you start to learn Arabic? Um, through necessity, really, just through... Um... I knew I was, I went to Sharm El Sheikh and I knew that I was going to end up traveling the region. I know what I'm like. And um, I just wanted to know what was being said around me. I'm there with my, my girlfriend. I'm there with her family. And, it, you know, it, it is a, a bo- part of that region are a little bit volatile. So just to be on the safe side, it's nice to know what's being said around you, really. Um, and then w- when I started using Arabic in the hotels and stuff in Egypt, and I'm getting such like a, a wow reaction from the locals. That kind of taught me that, you know what, for the little tiny bit of effort it takes to watch a few YouTube videos, write some phrases down, box them off and use them, then it's completely worth your time, really. Because um, I, I think never for your been... business, I think there's actually a big opportunity there. My dad it's all worked out. Because in the 90s and the early 2000s, there used to be a guy on Spanish TV who was a scouser and his Spanish was oh, yeah. terrible. But right. it was the novelty of the thing. And he basically he made it on Spanish TV. But it's almost where yeah. you could use it as a genuine, you know, USP that, yeah. you know, I don't have. That I think you could do a hell of a lot with that. You know, it's, yeah. it's uh, I think it's a tool you should use. It is. I, it came across quite well in the video. Like when I made the Morocco video searching for spices, I remember walking through like a beautiful blue alley in the Medina. And I'm, I'm talking on the phone, uh, talking to my, my camera. And um, some guy, I've got to bump into some guy, and I'm like, Ana Asef Sadiki, which is, I'm sorry, my friend. And I'm like, yes, yeah, I just said I'm, I'm sorry in Arabic, in my strongest boy accent. And it is something different, isn't it? And it makes the company stand out for me, like, definitely. 